quite the facility. I wonder how long it's been hidden here. If they don't already, the people of Appalachia deserve to know about this. We've heart. Good work securing an entrance, Initiate. Have you located the transmitter? Your diligence is appreciated. Are there any threats we need to know about? How exactly does a terminal program go about killing someone? Regardless of her methods, I have every confidence that the three of us can handle her. Moving forward, let's not waste any more time. Lead the way, Initiate. to shut me off, too. Their task failed, as will yours. I suppose that's the AI? I'd like to see this voice try to stop us. Task zero, zero, zero. Unknown user. Priority one. Transfer SOTUS. Operating system to unit XB-55. For the Brotherhood. Task complete. Please verify. <clears throat> Fortunate that even terminal programs turn to violence. This appears to be a manual console for the transmitter. I need a moment to figure out the controls. The two of you are to find the power supply and install the ultrasight battery cell that Scribe Valdez sent us with. Valdez said the signal was weak. If we want a clear message to reach the west coast, we need the transmitter at full function. Have you forgotten your escapade into the Atlas substructure already? You and Valdez found something incredibly valuable down there. An ultrasight battery cell. Right now, it's the only resource we have that can provide enough power to the transmitter. Take your time. I'll need to wrestle with this device for a while. I don't know how Scribe Valdez does it. This way, Initiate. I believe the power supply should be in this area. Let's get this done quickly. Leaving Romani to fiddle with the transmitter as she pleases doesn't sit well with me. Paladin Romani's actions are unbecoming of her station. She carelessly shares resources, takes unnecessary risks, and doles out her trust to anyone who takes an interest in joining us, regardless of merit. The Brotherhood she's building is not the one I believe in. It doesn't matter where her heart is. There are no buts in a life or death situation, Initiate. Paladin Romani is responsible for the lives of dozens of Initiates and countless civilians. One wrong choice for them, and that's it. I won't argue about this, but I will order you to get back to the transmitter while I finish up here. 
Think about what I said, Initiate. And think about what the Brotherhood stands for. Did Nightshin get held up? Well, perhaps it's for the best. This gives me the opportunity to ask you something. You've been a tremendous asset to the Brotherhood's efforts, and I'd like you to continue to be one. But we can't do that with the shadows of the Elders looming over our shoulders. They're cowards. Too obsessed with preventing disaster to pave a new way forward. Under their guidance, we will never rebuild the world. We'll stay rooted in place, guarding a horde of technology that can be used for neither good nor evil. Here in Appalachia, we have an opportunity to make a real difference. To help the people of today build their own future. So let's cut free and take that opportunity. Tell me, Initiate. Are you with me? This is not a betrayal, Initiate. I believe in the Brotherhood of Steel. So much that I would rewrite its customs to lead it on the right path. Re-establishing contact with the Elders will only shackle us. Possibly even destroy us. So we must disable this transmitter. Permanently. This is a choice that can never be undone. So tell me. Do you support the growth and outreach of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel under the command of Paladin Leila Romani? Or are you beholden to the fearful and outdated mandates of the Elders, to whom our very own Knight Daniel Shin vows his loyalty? Something happened during our journey to Appalachia. It's a mistake that cost the lives of an entire town, and likely countless more. If Knight Shin gets an opportunity to speak with the Elders, he will confess to this incident and to us breaking their direct orders. We'll have our titles stripped, our influence rendered illegitimate. Everything we worked for here will be gone. But if circumstances prevent us from establishing contact, we will continue on as a sanctioned offshoot of the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be able to spread its authority and goodwill across the nation. <laughs> Is that not something worth fighting for? You must recall the Brotherhood weaponry we tasked you with retrieving these last few missions. We had claimed the entire cache from a military facility in the Midwest. It was meant to stay under Brotherhood protection. Until we came across a town under threat of a massacre by some raiders. We equipped the townspeople with the weapons and fought by their sides. It was the only way to give them a chance. But it wasn't enough. The Raiders won. They took possession of the weapons, and they've been running wild ever since. It is my belief that we must learn from our mistakes. But Knight Shin hangs on to them. He cannot move forward until he confronts the past, until he lays our guilt on display for the Elders. I say that we can, that we must, move forward on our own.
Consider what's right. Not just for the Brotherhood, but for the people we must protect. You will be my ally in forging a new paradigm for the Brotherhood of Steel. And a brighter future for Appalachia. Allow me to take the first step. No! To a new brotherhood! What have you done, Paladin? The Elders have no hold on us anymore. Stand with me, Shin. Play a part in forging a better future. I have every intention of forging a better future. But this is not the way. You've broken your oath, Paladin. No. That title no longer belongs to you. With your link removed from the chain, I am the highest ranking officer present. All members of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel now answer to me. And you expect them to follow you? Authority is given to a leader by those who support them. The same initiates who turn away from you in fear. And I've done wrong by them. I never thought I would be in a position to ask for their loyalty. The Brotherhood must stand united. You've severed everything we rely on. I have not turned my back on the Brotherhood, Shin. On the contrary, I will work harder than ever before to lead us forward. It's an emergency alert from Fort Atlas. An alert? There could very well be an attack. We need to get back to the Initiates. I don't take orders from you anymore. Neither do the Initiates. We cannot have them confused on who to follow. Don't you see that protecting them is more important right now? You and I will both return to the fort and deal with the alert. We can settle our dispute later. As you say. But as far as I'm concerned, this is already settled. This way, Initiate. Despite the circumstances, the Brotherhood needs us. Ugh! <sighs> 